The Pfizer and the BioNTech jab isn't the only one in the pipeline. Several others are currently awaiting regulatory approval. The EU Commission has agreed contracts with multiple pharmaceutical companies and has secured over 1 billion doses so far. Well, Hermani G takes a look for us at how the others, the front runners, stack up and how they could be rolled out soon for widespread use. Vaccines from Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna and Oxford AstraZeneca will be the first to reach European citizens. But there are significant differences between them, from their composition to their price and how easily they can be distributed. Both Pfizer and Moderna's vaccines use messenger RNA technology, a technique that involves injecting genetic instructions into the body. This stimulates cells to produce a protein that will help create antibodies. Oxford AstraZeneca's prototype is based on an attenuated version of the chimpanzee common cold virus. It uses the spicule on the surface of the coronavirus, which is able to stimulate an immune response. This last prototype prevents COVID-19 in more than 70% of cases. In some dosage regimes, this percentage has risen to 90%. Meanwhile, the RNA vaccines are more effective in the final analysis of phase three at around 95%. There are also major differences in price, with Oxford's vaccine being much cheaper than Pfizer's and Moderna's, which can cost up to €31 Euros for each of the two doses a person needs. The storage, transportation and manipulation conditions also benefit the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, as it can survive for six months in a standard refrigerator. The Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine, however, is much more complicated to manage. It needs to maintain an extreme cold chain of up to minus 80 degrees Celsius. The Moderna prototype can remain stable for 30 days at between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius, although for a longer period it would need to be stored in standard freezers at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The European Union has already purchased dozens of millions of these vaccines. Johnson & Johnson, Sanofi and the Chinese and Russian vaccines will all soon publish their results.